Welcome everyone to a quick tutorial or mod spotlight on Logistics Pipes, the unofficial version. So this isn't the craft version, it's the unofficial version from Zorro, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, I've got the starting setup uh, of the machines you are gonna need. Uh, this is a Tesseract from Thermal Expansion, which is hooked up to a lot of uh, energy cells here, but it's just for demonstrating purposes, so you can hook up any engine or um, what you would like uh, to do this, but I'm using the Tesseract because I like them. So, now we've got that out of the way, let's get started and take a quick look at which blocks you need to get before you can get started with the logistics pipes. Now if we take a look at the power junction because that's what you're seeing right here um, that's the power junction and the logistics power junction as you can see it's fully stored and it tells you one megajoule equals five logistic power and one EU uh, equals two logistics power. So you can add solar panels, you can add buildcraft engines, whatever you like. Um, quick note about the block, the pipes only connect to the sides. So if we take a logistics pipe and we're gonna start with the basic ones. Um, if you hook one up, if you hook it to the top, you see it doesn't connect, but if you hook it to the side, you see the power connection and every logistics system needs um, like this uh, power so we'll always start with this one and let me grab some regular gold pipes um, just to make it easier so that's the first bit um, yeah let's just create a little network for us now what I usually like to do is create uh, let's get some chest and um, let's take the crystal chest so we can see a bit better. I usually like to put down a crystal chest. Oh, and before I forget, let me show you the power junction recipe because it's rather expensive. Um, you might save a bit if you use the redstone golden chipset because that's only one gold and one redstone, but you need the assembly table from Buildcraft. So that's uh, a little bit cheaper. And then the basic logistics pipe equal, you can also do that a bit cheaper by just um, uh, using the chipsets. But you need a diamond pipe, diamond transport pipe, so that's already two diamonds. And some torches, that's not too expensive, but the gold gears are, um, because you need four gold, four iron, four stone, four wooden sticks. And yeah, pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, but not too bad but what I always like to do is start with the mark um, well the uh, Jesse pipes and you've got them from mark 1 until uh, let me see where's the latest mark 5 which is the most um, expensive one it requires no I don't want to get a stack uh, I forgot recipe requires really a lot of gold and diamonds so it's really expensive but really powerful as well let me show you the difference real quick by getting one of these and one of these so if we take the mark one which is the simplest one and to access these I almost forgot you need a wrench now you can use the regular buildcraft wrench or you can use the omni wrench from uh, thermal expansion or Omni tools that is and I always like to use this one and as you can see there's one slot for just a modular card and if we replace that with the mark 5 you see you get what is it eight one two three four five six seven eight slots of cards now let's really quickly start just with the simple one the mark 1 and what I like to do is create some sort of a um, uh, main input chest so for example this is going to be the main input and I want to get things sorted um, for that you can insert different modules 
and for all the modules there's also a equivalent pipe so if we take the item sync module um, as you can see um, it requires the blank module some green dyes iron gear uh, blank module is not too hard just a bit of paper gold nuggets and some redstone it yeah it's pretty easy and then you need uh, all the different dice now for the uh, different cards you just get different dice but the recipe stays a bit the same although you can have the golden gears as well um, yeah so I was saying let's get a item sync card this is just like a regular uh, logistic basic logistic pipe and if you add it you can click the little exclamation mark and tell it what um, to sink in this chest um, so if there is anything in the pipe just uh, sink it into this chest um, so that's one we've got the passive supplier module which will try to keep uh, a certain amount of items inside the inventory if they are in the system so it won't request them like a normal supplier pipe would do but it's just gonna take items which are already in the system so that's a bit of a difference then we've got the extractor module and the name already says it it's just gonna extract one item per tick out of the chest the polymorphic item sync module will look at the inventory it's attached to and then um, act like a item sync module but uh, depending on what's inside the inventory really handy but I will show you that in a bit and then we've got the quick sort module and this is um, sort of a combination of the extractor module and um, it's gonna extract from the chest and take a look where it can dump certain items now let me show you I'm gonna add the quick sort module because that's mostly the one I wanted to get started with the recipe although is uh, pretty expensive because it's re it requires a diamond gear and the blue dye is not too bad but it's just the diamond gear so yeah it's a pretty expensive one and let me quickly show you one thing you can now you don't need to use your wrench if you want to add the card you can just right click and it will add the card to the system so now this one is looking in the system where it can store items um, so let's make a item sink and we're gonna do that right over here as you can see this side turns green this side turns red because there's no other uh, inventory or logistics pipe connected to that side so it doesn't know what to do with the, this pipe attached to it now if we add the chest um, it turns red but it should be okay so there shouldn't be a problem um, and let's get let's get some saplings I think that's a nice test subject and let's get a few of them so we can provide them as well so I'm gonna tell uh, this pipe to request oak saplings and if I add a lot of them in here the quick sort module is gonna sort and store them right over here so there we go we've got them all in there now the quick sort module will take uh, 64 at a time so it's a really fast module if we take these out for a moment and um, try the extractor module you'll see that is doing exactly the same thing but there's a slight difference it's gonna do one item at a time so there we go one item inside the chest one item at a time as you can see that's just the regular extractor module but if you take for example we've got more modules we've got also a mark 2 and I'm gonna get back to that one uh, the extractor mark 2 is gonna do 16 items at a time per tick so that's a bit faster let's get one and let's see it go for a minute here so extractor mark 2 module here we go going 16 did it notice ah, it's got some issue oh right okay <laughs> let me quickly stop this 
for every intersection you get, you need to have a logistics pipe. So this is an intersection with three possible routes. So you need to put one down here and then it knows that it can only go that way. So let's get the extractor mark module mark two again, insert it and now we should see 16 at a time arriving. Extractor mark two, yep, defaults. Should be doing 16 at a time. Hmm, that's odd. Maybe it does it only from machines. Yep, that's not how it's supposed to work. It should be 16 at a time. And if we take the Mark III, you can, that will also extract, well, just poof, look at it go. It will extract a stack at a time. So that's the fastest there is, as you can see. And that's ideal for if you have some quarries um, you want to use. So for now, I'm going to do the extractor module just to keep it nice and simple. There's also an exclamation mark which uh, you can use on machines. If you want a different face uh, to extract it from, so the side, the top or the bottom, and that's depending on the machine you're using. Um, so yeah, that's the first bit I always like to start with. And normally I use the quick sort module, which is also a good possibility. And then I plunk down a uh, Mark I logistics pipe and I add the polymorphic item sink. And let's add the saplings back just for testing purposes. Oh, right, it's still <laughs> requesting saplings. And that's not something you want to happen. So now it doesn't know what to do with it. So there's no valid um, uh, way to go. So it will keep them in this chest. Um, the polymorphic item sink doesn't have any options. It's just sitting there and looking at the inventory, which is currently empty. So let's add one sapling to this. And now it knows that in this inventory they should uh, have saplings so it's gonna transfer all the saplings to this chest so that's the first basic beginning of a nice sorting system um, let's quickly go and add in a requester uh, uh, logistics pipe now this is also an uh, expensive one requires two golden gears but it's really powerful and same goes for the mark II. mark II will just provide with a 16 at a time so let's get one and let's add it to this side and for now i'm gonna add a chest if you right click it it doesn't happen i think the mark II will let me quickly check that if you then right click it without a wrench it will uh, interact but now you the first one you'll have to use a wrench now this is the interface you get and you can request items from the system but as you can see there's really nothing to request yet because we are not providing anything now you can do this with a provider pipe or a provider module and you've got the Mark II pipe or the Mark II module, doesn't really matter. Mark II will provide 16 items at a time. And so even if you have oops, hang on, a Mark II requester item thing, you still need the Mark II uh, provider uh, pipe or module as well. Otherwise, it won't be able to supply um, your items at a fast enough rate. Now, as you can see, um, 
I don't have any more slots over here to add something to it so we're gonna add the mark 2 pipe and just break it you'll get your module back and place the mark 2 pipe down place back the polymorphic item sync and add the provider module mark 2 and this is an interesting thing you can exclude items or include items um, to be provided so if you want to leave anything out and you can switch the mode which I always put at leave one item per stack so that means there's always one item in here uh, that's gonna be there to tell the system that the saplings go here now if we try the request pipe again you will see it tells me I've got 315 oak saplings um, if you want to search you can type here and it will show you different items if you watch my let's play you see I've got six pages of items and this is a really handy thing if you type in anything and you want to clear the search bar bar you just right click and it clears it just like any eye really handy you can toggle between crafting and supply so the chests and the other crafting tables which we'll visit later on you can refresh so if the system is getting new resources you can refresh it and content I have no idea toggle the pop-up uh, this is just if you request something it will tell you if it was successful or not inside a pop-up but let me request one there we go as you can see it will tell you oh yeah uh, request was okay but it will also tell you down here if you look in my text bar in your text message it will tell you if it was successful so I like to turn this off and when you request it will tell you in your text that it was successful or if it was missing anything and the increments by one or by ten or per stack as you can see so if we go back to one you can do one stack two stacks as you can see six stacks and that's really nice what I always like to do is use my mouse wheel and it will scroll one so you can be really fast if you hold down control and you scroll it will increase by 10 and if you hold control plus shift and you scroll it will increase by 64 so that's really nice if you just need a few or a lot of uh, the same thing but yeah that's the uh, mark 1 uh, request pipe so let's put down the mark 2 and show you the difference because there is a disk here now if we take a disk um, this is the logistic disk and you craft it like this so um, just some gold nuggets and black dye not too expensive and this is if you insert it in the requester you see the disk here you can press this uh, on the disk and add for example a recipe saplings and or, ca or call the disk saplings and you can tell it I want uh, 32 so scrolling scrolling up again uh, 32 saplings and this is for my tree farm I don't know this is the recipe and you can make a combination so you can add multiple things to this and uh, add them in the bar here so let's save that and as you can see the saplings disk now has a recipe tree farm and because the list is not long enough we can't toggle anything but you can request for example saplings and it will send the 32 straight away so that's pretty nice <coughs> now that's the best part so for for example Thumbcraft if you know you need some certain aspects for I don't know some some recipes you can just add it to the disk and request uh, the entire recipe right away so that's really nice to use maybe above a cauldron or I don't know but yeah maybe you can think of something nice to do with it but yeah really handy feature 
Um, but yeah, going on. Oh man, there's so much to uh, be done. Now the quicksort module, most of the time I've got a quarry running, so there are items coming into the system. And at the moment, um, let's add just one more chest and put a extractor module uh, on there. Um, just to have some stuff flowing into the system. Um, and let's do some dirt, some cobble, um, not that dirt, but regular dirt, and maybe some wood, I don't know. Oh, and don't add it there, but if we add it to the chests, as you can see, it doesn't do anything. Because there's nowhere in the system it can go. To change that, I usually do my main input chest is also, so let's add back the quicksort module, is also the default route into the system. So if there's anything in the system and the system doesn't know what to do with it, it's gonna send it right to this chest, as you can see. So really nice, really nice. But if later on and you decide, oh, I need a chest for that, you just add it to a chest which already has a provider module and a polymorphic item sync, you can see it's then just rerouting it, emptying this chest again, and sending it to the right chest. And yeah, you can have uh, many chests next to each other. I don't have a module polymorphic item sync anymore and a provider module. Uh, let's do the Mark II, actually. Um, Oh, I did have one. So, now I've added two to them, and there you go. We've got another provider pipe. And let's tell this uh, chest to store cobble, and... Didn't want to do that. And let's store the dirt as well. And as you can see, it's quickly gonna extract over here okay let's go further with this because now we've got a system which is nicely sorting if it doesn't know what to do with it it's gonna send it to this chest and we're now going to do the remote order now you can get them in different colors, it's just the orderer, the regular orderer with a nice die to it. And the normal orderer is really expensive again because you need the diamond gears as you can see. So <laughs> better save up. And if you get that, so let's quickly get one, I like the die, uh, green die one. So <laughs> You still can't do anything because it's if you right click nothing happens, it's not linked. So you can't do anything with it. So let's do and get the remote orderer logistics pipe. And I only wanted one, I don't need more. And replace this regular uh, request items, or ah, we can leave it on. And add this to the system. And you can use any pipe to uh, Ooh, that's not gonna work because it's connecting there, so let's change that around a bit. And... Ooh, that's gonna connect as well. Wow. I already made it pretty difficult to just regularly add. <laughs> so, it's connected to the system. And if you right click you see you can't do anything with the pipe like this. You need to take your remote orderer right click on the pipe and then it tells you on the left bottom side that it's connected to the pipe and if I now right click not on the pipe but just anywhere you see I get my request items so let's request well I don't know six cobble and there we go it's gonna provide it to the chest right over here now if you want to be smart about it um, I always like to replace the regular provider uh, thing uh, or the request pipe and 
add in a oh I already have one a provider module and tell it uh, to just provide everything from this chest um, and we could do the same for the uh, uh, quick sort so the input chest as well if you want to um, input anything uh, or if you want to see what's in your input chest as well so mm, let's get take a mark 3 pipe and that's not too expensive yet just a bunch of gold and you get the mark 3 which will give you um, uh, three slots I think yeah three slots so let's make it the default route and let's add the quick sort and finally let's add the provider module mark 2 now if you've noticed uh, for example I'll make this the requested items for golden transport pipes if I take out the card and hold shift above it and don't mind the Thorncraft 3 aspects you can see that there's the settings of the card and it says default yes because it's a default route and the filter is a golden transport pipe which I just added so that's really handy to ooh, and I do that a lot <laughs> to remember it's um, keeping your settings now if you want to reset that because if we take another uh, let's take this out and take another item sync card and it reset it this one yeah okay that's not really handy so let's take that one out and as you can see this one is remembering but now they can't stack anymore and sometimes you just want to clean the uh, remembering of the uh, of the card so let's go to the normal mode as you can see and if you add it to your crafting grid you will get uh, the same module back or you can even add two so they might have filters on both of them and get two items in cards and that's just a fast and easy way to reset it so let's have a look make this the default route again make this for golden pipes I think now if we use our remote orderer again I oh right there's nothing in the chest <laughs> okay so if I add the golden transport pipes as you can see they will end up in this chest which is a bit stupid because it's also the default out uh, default route so it's not really handy and if we check our remote you can see it's now on 13 if we refresh a few times you can see it's slowly climbing so now we can also request from this chest um, but yeah if you request three you will see they will end up in this chest but our count for providing keeps the same because this one is providing as well to the system um so yeah now on to the good bit of all this because uh, let's oh right i'm not in creative anymore so let's quickly remove this um the best thing of all this is ender chest and logistics pipes so take your ender chest and i'm just gonna take a few uh, i think i'm gonna need them anyways and replace this chest with a ender chest now as you can see this is the regular white chest and it had some cobble in there uh, as you can see and let's say I um, need some cobble it's gonna insert it in the ender chest but it's also gonna be here and that works in every if you've got multiple ages from Miscraft that's working as well now even better let's say you're inside a cave and <laughs> let's get some torches and add them to this bit and let's get just for fun and let's clean this out a bit um, 
just for fun. Let's get a ender bag or ender pouch it's called. Wow. Now this ender pouch is white at the moment, so it's got the same inventory. So let's for instance say I'm in a cave, I need some torches, just request a few. It's gonna send them to, to the chest, but that's also my ender pouch. So as you can see, you can now really easily request a lot while you're on the job and you just have to wait for it and take it with you. So that's really cool and that's the way I like to do it most of the time. Now what I also have most of the time is a really, really uh, crappy inventory and it's full of junk. Um, so let's just put down another end of chest over here and let's give that some color so let's make that purple I don't know purple 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 take our end of pouch and right clicking linking it to the end of chest as you can see so now whenever I've got junk in my inventory I can just add it to my chest now where did my torches go for example so I've got a bunch of torches and I don't want them anymore I'll just put them in my ender pouch and as you can see the quick sort module will quickly sort them inside this chest now that's really the best bit of all of this this is so cool and really easy uh, really easy to use so you can really quickly um, empty your inventory if you've got anything you don't want anymore but remember I've got it set to the default route so anything it doesn't know what to do with will go to that chest so if I add the logistic ch disk it will go to the uh, default route so it will all end up in here and wow cool um, but yeah, that's a basic set of, of, uh, of a sorting system. Alright, on to the next bit. Uh, because we can make this much more interesting. If you take a look at the pipes which are available, you've got a, a logistics inventory system connector. Now this is really based on um, on ender chest and it's really 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 handy this pipe will and I need to set this up a bit handy um, will communicate with the chest over here let's get some dice and let's make this green so now I've got one in the chest and we've got a logistic system inventory connector now let's say and I'm gonna just pretend like where that this chest is in a different dimension and you want to link up your systems just like you would do uh, just like over here and it would know what to do with some of the items now let me give you a example now this chest is in a different age or, or dimension could be the uh, uh, what you call it the uh, uh, twilight forest for example that's also a dimension or could be the nether for all there uh, that is um, let's get my I forgot right uh, my pipes so select 64 and get your pipes uh, rolling into your system and just take them out so that's the easy bit but this one needs power as well so I'm gonna be a bit sneaky and use the same power system but normally you would have to rebuild this in the next age because otherwise it wouldn't work and but do take note that those systems aren't connected to each other because you don't want to interfere now um, as you can see it's connected but it's still red and if we right click the uh, system you see it's requesting a connection card now, if you look up card you'll find a frequency card logistics item card but it tells you this is no valid card 
and that's because you need the second bit and that's the uh, soldering station from logistics pipes if we want to create the um, the uh, frequency card you need a blank module there we go four ender pearls <laughs> yeah it's pretty oh, four ender pearls and a piece of iron one two link it all together once you've got that just insert your recipe like this and do note it doesn't show you anything in the interface make sure that you've got some power hooked up to it and I I think it could be build craft or industrial craft, doesn't really matter. And insert your iron ingots, and there we go. Now you get two, so for four ender pearls you get two frequency cards. If you want to know which ones belong to each other, just hold shift and you can see they've got a ID. And they are both the same, so that means they are both talking to each other. Now let's add the connection card to here and it will turn, should turn, wow, yellow most of the time because it's, but yeah, they're still working on it so it could be that they will fix it but normally it turns yellow to tell you that it is working but it it's missing a counterpart because we need to add the other one to the next chest. And then you see it's starting to turn green. Cool, right? Really cool. Um, yeah, on to the next bit. Okay, on with this show. I just quickly removed the power from this one and made it totally separate. So you get the idea of a separate system still hooked up. So yeah, and that's why the Tesseract is so cool. It's just giving you intra age power megajoules. And yeah, this is slowly charging up, but as you can see, it's green. And this side is green as well. So let's go on with the show. Let's say, for example, we've got, let's add a few more pipes so we can see the items flow. Let's say, for example, we've got a chest here with a provider module do I still have yeah but I want the mark 2 provider module mark 2 and let's just provide it all and tell it that we are gonna provide chests in here now as you can see they are both separate and but if I check in my remote orderer or in that case in my different age and I would use the oh I don't have the <laughs> uh, remote order uh, uh, request request the pipe here anymore so let's quickly add that to the system but as you can see if I right click it it just recognizes that bit over here with the 32 chests now what is the system going to do if I request, for example, a crystal chest? Because it is going to show up in here. So what it's doing is it's sending, and let me show you from here. If I request one, it will send it to the chest, and the system over here will know that it's getting a requested item and sending it all the way down. To this and the chest where we requested it so this way you can um, uh, connect systems together and um, get for example a supplier pipe and that's with a double P of course and supplier logistics and tell your um, system here And let's take for example that this is a still or what's it called the forestry machine and let's tell it that ooh, I don't have any saplings so let's request some saplings take them out of the chest and tell it that we want uh, to keep 
sapling stuck and as you can see it will just nicely do that because it's linked together so yeah that's a really cool feature and it's really helping out a lot and remember if I don't want to have my saplings anymore I'll just add the back to the purple chest with a, which is my quick sort module as you can see it's sorting them out so these are the basic setups I like to use when I'm um, mining and stuff just to quickly sort out my uh, abundance of coal and whatnot. Now there are a few cool modules uh, available and I'm just gonna quickly talk you through them and because it's really really a lot. The B stuff isn't working at the moment, but that's mainly because of the build I'm using. Uh, the latest build will uh, repair these and you won't have any problems with them anymore. But if it's like this one, if it's saying passive, and that's the same with the B analyzer module, the B sync module, and the, um, yeah, these two will be passive. And that means only items in the system uh, on their way to a route will go to that pipe if they're in a chest they won't be extracted or supplied anywhere so that's for the passive suppliers the terminus module is just a bit higher up the tiers and if you check out the recipe if you've got if it's got a for example a chest with which is full of items and it's got nowhere else to go it normally would go to the default routes and end up in your chest here but if you've got a terminus module that's the place it's sent to so you can use it to insert in your scrap machines now there's also the electric manager module and if you hook it up for um, in a mark 1 or mark 2 pipe mark 1 is i think all you need and you hook it up to a mfe mfsu or or something else ic2 related you can charge up your jetpack or your suit and it works like item sync module only that once the item is filled inside the machine it will extract it for you and send it to a default route so don't make sure you set a default route and I like to set this as the default route or this as the default route for my items so you can just pick them out of your bag and put them back on so no need to go back to recharge your stuff it's just gonna end up right back in your pouch and you can use it again so that's pretty cool now some interesting stuff about the pipes um, the most things we've got or we discussed already but you've got the liquid supplier pipe now uh, that's also a uh, it's gonna check the uh, tank instead of the inventory so if you want and this is gonna be a bit difficult to explain but it's like an item sync pipe uh, only that in this case if you wanted to keep liquid stocked which are in bucket or can form it will keep them stocked so for example if I tell it to wow this is odd I just wanted some cans uh, let's say I wanted to keep fuel yeah fuel might be a good one so let's get one bucket and let's tell it I want eight buckets to be stocked here and let's quickly grab a tank which can store 16 um, it now has no fuel in the system at the moment so let's add some fuel to the system and let's set partial request to true why yeah there we go so it should be halfway full as you can see but uh, you can use uh, buckets but you can also use cans for example so let's take uh, just type fuel that's maybe handier so let's take a fuel can and let's take a uh, capsule so th same thing just take eight and add these to the system Thank you. 
and as you can see it it remember uh, it can tell it's just eight oh right i'm now sending it to the default this is the extracted chest so but never mind but if i put down a empty tank it will now remember that it needs to have eight cans stuck and it will send them as you can see so really nice pipe if you want to keep liquid stuck and you only got the solid form like buckets or fuel cans really nice combine that with a maybe a red power to deployer and water buckets you can auto refill your buckets just by telling it what to do and um, yeah then there are some pipes let's go over them a bit more now the crafting logistics mark 2 can craft 16 items at a time the crafting pipe mark 3 can craft 64 at a time and, and has got a internal buffer as well so you won't have overflowing items from your pipes when you're crafting stuff and that's really nice it's it, that's the fastest there is but if you take a look at the recipe that's pretty expensive because you need the mark 2 pipe which is already a golden gear and you need the normal one which is glowstone and a basic logistics pipe and also there's a <laughs> diamond chipset in there a nano hopper which is eight hoppers combined that's pretty expensive and all done in a soldering station so you need iron and a bit of power so expensive pipe but pretty cool to have you've got also got the system destination and entrance pipe um, they also work with the cards and if you've got any items in the system and it doesn't know where to put it it will send it as you can tell by the arrow uh, to this pipe and then this pipe will pick it up as well and send it in that system so you can build two separate systems and hook them up by the uh, destination and entrance pipe really nice um, yeah and then you've got the uh, standard builder supplier pipe which works with the buildcraft 2 builder so this one can provide automatically anything the um, uh, oh I can rotate that nice anything the builder is requesting it will try to request it from the system really really cool and one final bit you also get the faced transport pipes and these are yeah really cool um, a bit too overpowered I think but just right click them with anything and just tell it to send only or send and receive which normally works with the uh, logistics pipes choose a recipe or a frequency so I'm choosing frequency one and take it to the next age and oh boy too many pipes nope I uh, just wanted this one and hook it up to your system now this one isn't recognized but put it to send and receive and turn on the right frequency and as you can see it turns green and we can even use our request a pipe mark 2 um, no, I just want to right click it with anything so yeah this is really handy it doesn't require any power so your power is even transferred through the air through the frequencies really nice to use if you're like for example using the builder and need supplies from your sorting system really nice to use and then the final bit of course are the hot glasses now this is really a pain to build but um, it is really nice to have as you can see it requires a lot of diamonds and um, diamond chipsets and even more diamonds so plenty of diamonds I haven't calculated it but if you put it on your face as you can see I can now see a sort yeah sort of interface and if you hover over the item it will show you what's inside the chest because this is a provider module just hover over the cross and it closes again 
and for all different cards you can see nothing to display uh, but this one it will tell you oh default value and item sync module for pipes yeah that's really cool tells you even how many energy is stored at any given moment um, and with crafting pipes that's even cool uh, let's get the Mark III for example. It will show you the recipe if you insert anything in there. So, where's my wrench? Let's tell this outputs, for example, a chest. Then it will tell you the result is one test. Uh, this is a bit cheating, of course, because I really didn't do it. <laughs> didn't insert anything, but the system thinks it will get a diamond chest for free um, and if you use the uh, satellite pipes and use a ID it will tell you the ID at any given moment and if you've got a chest hooked up to it with anything in there it will tell you what's inside the chest hooked up to the satellite pipe so yeah really really cool a lot of things to show uh, once it updates um, with the B stuff and maybe a bit more on the passive uh, syncing, analyzing of bees, better sorting of stuff. I will be back with a slide update, but yeah, these are the basic stuffs for now, which I really like to set up this way. And this is how I do my let's play um, at any given time. Uh, I truly hope you all enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, uh, leave them down below in the uh, comment section and uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll hope to see you in my let's play or maybe the next uh, spotlight or quick tutorial and uh, until then I'm gonna say bye bye